Next, I'd like to discuss the unit selection options. I've cleared the previous data and settings so that we can see more precisely what we're changing now. So as you can see, this is a fresh channel selector for the same data. If I click plot, we're gonna get our acceleration waveform in Gs and the time unit in seconds. Well, that's not always desired. Some people use the imperial system, some people use the metric system. You want to be able to choose that specifically. So from within our tools drop-down menu in the channel selector, we have the unit selection tool. In the unit selection tool, there are several drop-downs. Drop-down menus are only displayed for units which appear in your data, meaning that if there is no pressure data, then the pressure drop-down will not exist. The first drop-down menu is the standards menu. This is for wanting to conform to an entire standard rather than a specific unit. So if I were to switch to the SI units, or the metric system, you'll notice it changes all the other units to the standard SI unit. If I were to switch to the US, it will do the same, but for the imperial system. So, I click custom and allow me to change these. So let's say I want acceleration in meters per second squared, and I want time in minutes. By pressing plot, you can see we have that same information. But this time it's in meters per second squared and in minutes. One other important unit that we give as an option that is unique is the conversion of pressure units to altitude. If you'd like to know more information about how to convert pressure to altitude, there is a Mide blog post detailing just that. I'm going to switch the units back to seconds so that future use will be consistent and as desired. 